Hey guys, today we'll be talking about acceleration. Imagine you are taking the Canada Line and traveling from Oak Ridge Center to Langara 49th Station. Thinking back to your physics class, you wonder what the acceleration of the train is as it travels from one stop to the next. But before we dive into the question, let's recap. What is acceleration? Acceleration is the rate of change at which velocity changes. A is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over the final time over the initial time. Please note that in the textbook, they use the change in velocity over time since t0 is equal to zero. Acceleration is a vector in the same direction as the change in velocity. Remember that velocity is also a vector. This means that when velocity changes, both magnitude and direction may change. Therefore, acceleration may mean speeding up, slowing down, or turning a corner. We can see this in this example as a pig runs westward. As the pig speeds up, the velocity will become more negative. This means the change in velocity is negative. Therefore, the acceleration is also negative. Note that this does not mean slowing down. Slowing down occurs when acceleration is in the opposite direction of velocity. From this question, we can see that the pig is traveling in a positive direction. This results in a positive initial velocity. Since it comes to a rest, the final velocity is zero. This means that the change in velocity is a negative number. Therefore, the acceleration will also be negative. Now let's return back to our acceleration problem. The Canada Line train stopped at Oak Ridge Center accelerates from zero kilometers per hour to its constant speed of 45 kilometers per hour in 10 seconds. As it approaches its next stop, Langara Station, it slows from 45 kilometers to zero kilometers per hour in eight seconds. A, what is the acceleration from rest to top speed? B. What is the acceleration from top speed to rest at Langara Station? In A, we can predict that the acceleration will be positive since the train starts from rest and ends with a velocity to the right, in this case, a positive direction. Because acceleration is in the same direction as the change in velocity, acceleration will also be positive. To solve this problem, we can see from the question that the initial velocity is zero meters per second and that the final velocity is 45 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 12.5 meters per second. The change in time is 10 seconds. Using the acceleration equation delta v over t, we get that the acceleration is 1.25 meters per second squared. In B, we can predict that the acceleration will be negative since it initially starts with a positive velocity and ends at rest, this resulting in a negative change in velocity. Therefore, acceleration will also be negative since acceleration is in the same direction as the change in velocity. To solve for B, we find that the initial velocity is 45 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 12.5 meters per second, and that the final velocity is zero meters per second. The time is equal to eight seconds. Using the acceleration equation, we find that the acceleration is equal to negative 1.56 meters per second squared. 